Have you been wondering if your mental health is possibly getting worse? Mental health, just like physical health, affects everyone. Whether you're suffering from a mental health or not, your mental and emotional health can fluctuate from time to time, depending on the stresses going on in your life. So it's always a good idea to check in with yourself and gauge the direction that your mental health is going in. Seeking inspiration. Here are 11 signs your mental health is getting worse. Number one, you're losing interest in the little things. Does everything seem boring to you or you have no interest? If you start to lose excitement for life's little things, it means that your mental health might not be at its best. You may be feeling this way because of a load of overstress in your life, or you're feeling overwhelmed with a lot of your responsibilities on your to-do lists. When you lose interest and don't enjoy the activities that you once did, this could also be a warning sign of depression. If you think this is what could be happening to you, Know that you are not alone and that help is just around the corner. Talk with a trusted friend or family member or a mental health professional and get the help you need to navigate these troubling times. Number two, you get overwhelmed easier. Do you find that you've been getting overwhelmed more often than normal? When you have a to-do list with two or three tasks, does it feel like you have 10 things to do? When you start to get overwhelmed easily with everyday things, this could mean a sign of worsening mental health. According to psychotherapist Sherry Jacobson, feeling mentally overwhelmed could be an internal reaction to excessive outside stress. To help cope with this overwhelming feeling, you can journal, pray, and practice mindfulness. Number three, you don't feel like socializing that much anymore. Does it feel more exhausting to interact with people nowadays? Regardless of whether you are an introvert, extrovert, or an ambivert, we have a standard comfort level of how we interact. If you feel yourself slipping below your comfort level, please pay attention to this. Remember that if it doesn't feel that way at the moment, interacting with others can really boost your mood. Number four, you don't have a consistent sleep schedule. Have you developed a seemingly randomly sleep schedule despite wanting to get up at a certain time in the morning? Do you wind up sleeping all day? When you have an irregular sleep schedule, this could mean increased stress in your life and a decline in your mental health. If you are struggling to regulate your sleep, you can try setting up a routine. Go to bed the same time every day. This will get your body back in the regular rhythm of awake and sleep cycles. Number five, you always feel drained. Despite getting enough sleep and eating well, do you constantly feel exhausted and drained? According to Healthline, mental exhaustion can set in when you are under long-term stress. And this type of exhaustion can make it feel like you are trying to move up a mountain. More than just feeling tired, when you are in this drained and constantly exhausted state, you might struggle to get anything done. Remember to practice gratitude relaxation and exercising as well as you can speak to a mental health professional to provide medication for you if it's needed treatment plan isn't for everyone but remember there is a way that will work best for you number six your anxiety seems to be increasing do you wake up in the morning with a crushing sense of anxiety that stays with you all day does this anxiety cast a cloud over your daily activities worsening anxiety can also coincide with worsening mental health Anxiety affects us all, whether or not we seem to suffer from a particular anxiety disorder. It's important to monitor your anxiety because a noticeable change can tell you a lot about your current mental health. 
Anxiety is a response to stress and it can cause a variety of psychological and physical symptoms. When you feel overly anxious, you may notice that your heart rate speeds up and your breathing rate increases and you may experience a bout of nausea. Number seven, you feel mentally and emotionally scattered. Do you feel like there are so many things happening around you and you can't focus on any of them? If that is the case, you are not alone. From time to time, it is natural to feel this way, especially when you're going through a higher amount of stress. Number eight, you can't seem to pay attention. Do you have a harder time focusing and staying on task? When you are reading, is it hard to comprehend? Do you have to reread the same passage over and over again? Though it could relate to psychological disorders such as ADHD, depression, and anxiety, it's also likely that a lack of focus can be due to stress or poor self-care. It can be frustrating to start losing focus so frequently. And those feelings are valid and normal. Remember to take care of yourself. And as you recover, know that help is available. Number nine, you might be struggling with your impulse control. Are you acting more on impulse? Are you possibly indulging in things that you shouldn't? Whether it's retail therapy or binging on your shows or spending a lot of times with video games for hours. When you act on impulses like this, it can signify worsening mental health. You might pick up some unhealthy habits as a way to cope with stress or to fulfill yourself or to distract yourself. Journaling, mindfulness, and therapy are ways to start uncovering these issues. Number 10, you are struggling to feel grounded. Similar to feeling centered, when you are feeling grounded, you are confident and assured of yourself. There are activities that connect your body with the world around you, such as hiking, praying, or even walking outside are great ways to stay grounded and connect with your mind. Number 11, substance use. Alcohol and other substances might temporarily worsen symptoms of depression. Self-medicating or regular substance use can also contribute to more persistent severe depression and have other health consequences over time. Please never hesitate to speak to a friend, a family, or a mental health professional.